Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 6. Wow, it's episode 6. Time is fly. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm my plans. So my plans is very simple. What I'm gonna do, I'm planning to upgrade one of my tools and that tool will be either pickaxe or axe. I'm not so sure which one. But if you want to upgrade the tools, the, each tool requires the same amount of resources, so it doesn't matter which one. So like pickaxe requires 5 planks, 10 ferrite and 10 clay soil. And if I try to upgrade eggs, require the same amount, 5 planks, 10 ferrite, 10 clay soil. So it doesn't matter which one tool we wanna, you want to upgrade, there will always going to be the same amount of the resources. Also what I'm planning to do, I'm planning to make a cap. Uh, I cannot make this one because I'm, that looks cool but required higher, better materials and I don't have that. So I'm gonna make a cheaper one which is a square skin head. It's required only five screen, square skins and some dried intestines and bone needle. Like a, but like I said in the last episode I cannot make this because I need the salt and I have only Soul, uh, I guess this one, yeah, salt stone. So I have to convert this to salt, and in order to convert to salt, we need special machine, and the machine is called. This goes in furniture. All the way on the bottom. Nah. It's not even listed yet, so we don't even cannot construct that machine. So basically we have to, that machine is located in the town, there's like ore extractor, something like that. And in order to get to the town, of course, we have to get through the purple bubbles, that's where we planted the trees. And that we're gonna plan, that we're gonna plan to do this. So in meantime, we're gonna be cooking uh, tea, make some tea. See, I got the square, I can eat the squares. Um, and also we're gonna chop the trees. And there's gonna be one special tree, I know it's a little bit dark outside. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit in the chair for, um, I guess, five hours. Because you guys, you cannot see anything and it's kind of awful to, there's nothing we can do inside the house. <laughs> Let's do two more hours. We have to do something outside and all right so now it's bright enough also what we want to do take the corn since it's ready and don't leave the corn for more than one day because if you leave the corn for more than one day it will change to organic waste so basically we are wasted our food so you cannot sit forever that corn and at the same time we're gonna plant for the new one of course, I got toxic 51. So we should drink something. So let's take a look at our time. There's no grass. Also, there's something else grows, but we're gonna remove this. Just make sure there's only time is gonna grow, nothing else. And this plant called aloe vera it's used for something else but we can always eat this and that's gonna serve as an extra food but it's give, it's give us two points of toxin but that's okay anyway we got some corn so we're gonna put the corn temper we're gonna store the corn over here it will decay after 20 days we could take the five pieces of corn and make a food but we still have seven military military rations so we're good on the food we're just gonna be keep doing time of course gonna put this bottle and like I said the time is not gonna decay so you can always store as many as you can so we're gonna just drink one then store one and same thing we can put that too I'm gonna put in this one There's some grass too we can do this 
And since, since that's the daytime, I'm just gonna grab that water. We can eat that squirrel leftover. So you've got the bone. And also I'm gonna put that bone temporarily over his store somewhere. So I don't have, I have more space. And we got the beetle. Okay, this is the plan. See, we got one cypress tree. See, that's our lizard. This is our protector. He's gonna eat the beetles, but we want one more extra tree, at least to, to protect our time. So we're gonna do, we're gonna chop this type of trees. See, look, lizard is eating the beetle. So he's gonna protect that. And of course, if you see any grass, let's clear the grass because we just want the time. I have four pieces of time. We're not gonna chop this tree. We're not gonna chop this for the branches. Actually, we're gonna go for this one. So we're looking for the extra, for another cypress seed. And wow, I was, <laughs> we're lucky I guess this is our lucky day Saturday all right and also I planted maple tree as growing some other stuff so I'm gonna keep that and oh we got the square so what's a good thing about the square she's not not gonna run away so can easily take it except the box there's another super tree that's we have lizard which is okay because we can have branches because there's a bunch of bushes still so we can get the branches but there'll be less uh, bushes then we need a uh, super street to have extra branches so the branches are gonna be useful different type of stuff we want to do also I'm not gonna go to every tree to clear the stuff the grass I just want to clear uh, these two tree, the grass around that. So this way I have more resources. All right, so let's plant another one. Since we got the super seed, I'm gonna plant. Ah, yeah, it's a good thing. Let's put it over here and plant the tree seed. Of course, when I cut, cut the grass. So probably there's a one time. Oh, there was a one time. I guess it's gone because. Oh, no, actually no. There was a four. I was thinking that was like five. Actually, I cut one. Harvest one. All right. Later, I mean, these two trees they done ready. So we can safely chop the tree and get the two seeds but the other two they not done yet so we, my plan is to at least cut one of the tree once we have more time for now we're just gonna stick for that because we need definitely we need more time to survive because the squares they're not showing up very often so this is what we're gonna do and let's chop and also See, like if my plans to upgrade one of the tools so I need 10 ferrites and 10 clay soil and this is the pile of ferrite this pile of soil clay this is a small one and this one is a big one so when you mine it, the big one sometimes you can get two ferrites same with the clay when you mine it you can have two but it's like random and we need 10 of these so we have Potentially we could have four ferrites, but this is not enough because we need ten. So my suggestion just to keep let them grow. Are they gonna be bigger? And then once they're gonna be bigger, we're gonna mine it because still we need some ferrite to fix our tools. And you need one ferrite, one stone to make two sharpening stones to fix the tools. So <laughs> we still need the ferrite. Right, uh, do I have a water? Yes. And to boil the water, just to have water in your hand. So it's arrow pointing to the hand, so water is in your hand. Just right click, 
it's gonna automatically it's gonna boil no matter what's inside that uh, kitchen uh, so let's since we don't have any square so actually no we have a square so we don't need to eat the nutritions yet I mean nutritions military rations so I'm just gonna put that stuff and such actually I can put this green green grass over here and make another compost organic waste Oh, actually I got one extra compass good now let's see how many skins do I have three so I still need one more but like I said we need access to to the town so let's take a look our purple bubble situations if there is some safe passage to mm, not yet see there's still two tires well I'll show you this. See, I, we got 70 points of health, so you can pass one purple bubble safely. And they will decrease to 10 points, so it's gonna take still 50 points. I'm not gonna test that yet, <laughs> but uh, that's how much they're gonna take. So we cannot pass like two tiles of purple bubbles, we can just uh, go through one and there's no way to increase the our health points they're always gonna be the same one get out of here nasty beetles okay so we should have some seeds corn seeds and I do believe yeah, I do have over here. So I'm gonna plant another set of the corn. Like so, and then I got 14, gonna plant it. A little bit more, and since we have a water handy, fill up the spot, 662. Uh, I'm gonna refill. Alright, and I'm gonna grab that dried grass and fresh grass. And also, the beetles can eat uh, your corn too, so your crops. So be careful on that. And just the reason I'm planting because I want to have more corn. And since we need only five corn oh, to cook, so I can make seeds from one of the corn. And this is what I'm gonna do, make a extra seeds. And by the way, we're gonna cook. So you guys gonna know. Okay, so to cook the corn, in just corn and water, and then you have a boiled corn. It's gonna give us plus 40 food, but it's required water. See the square on the other hand, when we're gonna cook, you don't need the water, you just need the square, and the square is gonna give you 75 points plus some points of the decreased radiation. So it's it's better. So the corn is our, basically, as a, my backup food, just in case, because the squares, they not always around, and you have to go to each tree and checking. And by the way, when the tree is full, we can safely chop one of the trees, or you can use pickaxe and just dig, dig the sand, and hopefully we're gonna get the seed, but since we have more than two trees, we're gonna chop one of them. See, we got uh, two acorn, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna plant one of them at this spot, and I'm gonna plant another one in this one. Excellent. And well, I'm gonna make more room for this. Now we also have some wood in the process, and our corn seeds are ready. Let's 
Just scare away that uh, little bug. Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, sometimes you have to be careful to cut the grass close to the uh, time. Uh, it, it, there's no no big deal if you by accident cut one of them. It's gonna be a big deal if you got all of them because then different plant may spawn and you have to wait much longer for the elm um, to show up and this way there's a higher chance of spawning um all right we need some food that's okay uh, square is not cooking yet so we're gonna see one time at least okay something's cooking probably the tea is cooking and we need also water which this is the Contaminated water, which we're not gonna use that. Alright, I'm just gonna place the corn back. There's only two pieces. That hay was dry grass, actually, it was dry grass, now it's called it hay. It's gonna be all over the place because we have so much of that stuff. So I'm gonna stack it. And also, I, as a backup, I could cook the beetles. And Oh, there's one more thing I would like to show you with the trick. See? Okay. So these beetles gonna will decay in 21 hours. These ones gonna decay in 3 days. So basically if you still prefer eating the beetles and you don't want these guys to be decayed but you don't want to eat that food at this moment, so you can increase the amount of decay time. So what you have to do, just take the beetles which is have the lowest time to put in the beetles which has the highest time so these guys got these two guys have three days these four guys got 21 hours so if i take these four beetles and put them over here the decay time is gonna reset and they all six beetles they now decay after two days but what's more <laughs> uh we have some beetles see the, oh, actually they also decay after two days. That was like three days. But we could keep increasing the time until like they have a highest time to before they're gonna decay. So they're still fresh. So obviously we still can cook. <laughs> but like I said, I, do, I don't like to eat the beetles. I mean, you know, for, for this game doesn't matter, but anyway. Also, see the boiled corn got 40 plus 40 food, but will decay in five days. And just regular corn will decay after 20 days. So, in my suggestion, it's better to keep food in the, in the raw form, and when you need it, cook it. Because when you make the cooked stuff, it's gonna decay much faster. So that's one of my suggestions. Okay, to do this. Right. Uh, well, I should drink something and should eat. And of course, see the corn is gone with the plate. So the plate was like something extra. And we can go back to oh, we can cook the square and then go back to cook our tea. So also gonna put that extra tea and I'm gonna stack extra wood because we got only two pieces. Once we're gonna get the kitchen, the kitchen is more efficient because, because it's not only can burn the logs, but also can burn the branches. And also can burn hay. So it's more efficient because you can use different um, uh, different type of fuel to burn. All right, it's time for me to go to sleep. I'm very tired, it's nine points left. So, Thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time, bye bye, take care.